Hey everyone, it's James from the Fit RV, and I'm here today with an activity I think you're going to like. We have a Travato, obviously, and one of the concerns I hear about with the Travato from time to time is that it's kind of low to the ground. And it is, it makes it fantastic to drive, but people are concerned about what does that do to the departure angle. Now the departure angle is sort of how steep of a hill can you start climbing. It's sort of governed by how much of your RV sticks back past the rear wheels. And on the Travato, that's not much. So today, we're going to measure it. And this is actually something you can do at home. It doesn't take much. All you need is a cheap sheet of plywood and then one of these guys. Now this is a digital angle gauge. I call it a tilt box. I use these in my woodworking shop all the time to measure the angle of tools and blades. Today we're going to use it to measure the departure angle on our Travato. And I think what we're going to find is that it's actually pretty darn good. Okay, but before we start measuring, I've got a couple of disclosures to make. I've made two modifications to our RV that are going to help us out a little bit. First, I installed Sumo Springs. Now these are replacements for the factory bump stops. You can read about it on our blog. They raise the back end of our Travato about an inch. And the second thing I did was I cut down this bolt. Now this is holding on the black tank. It's part of a bracket system. And I noticed that this was the first point that was making contact when I started to measure it. So I cut that down. Okay, the way we're going to measure this, it's actually just really simple. You take your piece of plywood and you jam it up under the rear wheels, like so. Then we're going to take our little digital angle gauge, turn it on, and we're going to zero it out. There we go. Yep. There we go. Now we're just going to pick up the plywood until we meet resistance. Mud flaps don't count. And there we go. And I get 13 degrees. Okay, so 13 degrees. So now what does that mean in practical terms? Well, I did a little quick trigonometry, and 13 degrees works out to be roughly a 23% grade. So when I see one of these, unless it says something more than 23%, I'm going to figure I'm good. And that 23%, by the way, is only the limit for an abrupt change in grade. As in, my front wheels are on the slope, and my rear wheels are on the flat, and roads almost never change grade that quickly. Now, to finish it off, I did a little uh, research on road design standards, and though there are some exceptions out there, almost no road design standards call for roads with greater than a 20% grade. So pretty much on any paved road in North America, I'm going to figure I'm good. So with that, uh, it's going to wrap it up for this. This is James from the Fit RV, I'm signing off. All you need is a cheap sheet of plywood, and one of these. This is a digital angle gauge, or well, I call it a tilt box. I use this in the wood shop all the time when I'm getting strafed by World War II fighter planes. 